So about two months ago, I bought this, an absolutely massive 49 inch ultra wide monitor from Samsung. To be honest, I bought this thing for one reason at the time. I wanted the convenience of having two separate monitors without that horribly ugly break in the very center where the two monitors meet up. What I didn't realize at the time was that this super ultra wide display would change the way I use my PC forever. Because now that I've experienced the glory of the ultra wide, I'm never going back, man. Not in a million years. Aesthetically, a 49 inch ultra wide does look a bit well, ridiculous to the average person. It's about as wide as a 55 inch TV while at the same time being only half as tall. My desk is six feet long, which is a lot longer than most desks and it still manages to look huge on top of it. It definitely does take a few days to get used to, but once you settle into it and realize the sheer amount of benefits that come from having a monitor that's that wide, I guarantee you'll fall in love with it. Let's start with the productivity benefits. You could absolutely just snap two windows to either side of the display and just call it a day. That alone would improve your efficiency a lot from a single 16 by nine monitor setup. But for me, that's not enough. One of my favorite ways to use this monitor is by using a tool called Fancy Zones within Microsoft's Power Toys app. With Fancy Zones, you can customize exactly where you want the windows to snap and how big those windows are. Personally, I like to sit in the very center of my desk and have my main content displayed right in front of me. So what I do is I split my ultra wide into three different zones, a 16 by nine zone in the center and then two eight by nine zones on each side. All I have to do is shift click and drag a window into one of the three zones and they'll automatically resize and snap to them. It's ideal for the D&D campaign I run, for example. I have Virtual Foundry Tabletop in the center, which is the app I use to handle battle maps and combat. And then I have my DM notes on one side and any references I might need on the other. You can also map a keyboard shortcut to change custom zones on the fly. So if you wanted to split the display into two or even four zones quickly, you can. Because this is one single uninterrupted screen, you can split it up into however many zones you need. Most of the time though, I only actively use two zones. So in order to maximize vertical screen space, I shift the taskbar over to the right and put something of lesser importance in the third zone, like Discord or my PC's hardware temperatures. Video editing is another area where a huge ultra wide like this makes a big difference. I don't actually edit any videos on my PC since I'm primarily a Final Cut Pro user, but in DaVinci Resolve, for example, the media pool and viewer both get so much more space than on a regular monitor, and then the timeline is just ridiculous because it spans the entire length of the screen. Now what about watching TV shows or movies or even just YouTube? You know how when you watch a movie on a TV and you get those black bars on the top and bottom of the screen? Well, if you watch anything on an ultra wide that's this wide, you get black bars on the left and right of the screen. Even full on 2391 Cinemascope movies have those bars. What I was most excited for when I bought this thing though was gaming on it. And I'll get into all the awesome benefits of playing games on this thing, as well as a few of the unfortunate downsides right after I thank the sponsor of this video. Upgrade your workstation setup with Anchor's new PowerConf C300 webcam and S500 conference speaker. The C300 features a full 1080p 60fps camera with AI exposure and color adjustment that makes sure you look the best at all times. It also has AI framing combined with a wide 115 degree field of view so that if you move to the other side of your desk for a moment, the camera will track and follow you to keep you in frame. Now, if you're looking for a portable battery powered conference speaker, Speaker, this S500 is excellent. It has voice radar technology that detects and isolates voices through its four sensitive microphones while simultaneously filtering out background noise. Its acoustically tuned 1.75 inch speaker provides crisp and clear room filling sound and it has a crazy 16 hour battery life for those all day conferences. Pick up Anchor's new lineup of workstation products today and make sure you look and sound the best while you do your best work. I'll leave links in the description down below if you're interested. So when I went shopping for an ultra wide like this, I had one very important requirement. It had to be a high refresh rate display. Gaming is a, honestly, it's just a huge part of my life. It's how I get all of my stress and anxiety out of my head after a super busy day. So I needed a monitor that I could game on. This ultra wide has a 144 Hertz display along with a one millisecond response time and gaming on it for the most part, at least has been pretty darn great. Most of the games I play at this point have full support for ultra wide monitors and the result is some of the most immersive gameplay I think I've ever seen, except for maybe VR. VR is probably the most immersive, but this is like a close second. One of my favorite games to play on it lately is Forza Horizon 5 and having a display that essentially wraps around to fill a huge part of your peripheral vision is amazing. It's one of those things that you really didn't know you were missing when you didn't have it, but when you do, 
you never want to go back. Now, I absolutely could just play this game in a normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio and then have some other windows open on the sides, but after playing it for so long with the game taking up the entire display, it just feels like I'm missing out, which is probably how it would feel if I went back to a normal size monitor. But that scenario I just described could be a huge deal for streamers. For example, you could have your game in the center of the screen, and then you could have OBS open on the left-hand side and your Twitch chat open on the right. This monitor, like most monitors, also has a picture-in-picture -picture mode. Sometimes I like to play Fire Emblem on my Switch, but I still like having my PC on to either listen to music or just chat with friends or something. So I have my Switch on one side of the screen and then my PC on the other. Rarely do I ever use my TV anymore. This thing has just become the media hotspot of my house because it's so convenient. But I'm sure as you could have anticipated, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. This ultra wide in particular is not the one I would recommend to most people. And that's one of the reasons why I've neglected to talk about its specs or model number up until this point. This is Samsung's C49 HG 9X. And it's got a couple of problems. For one, the screen resolution on this thing is too low for a monitor of this size. It's got a screen resolution of 3840 by 1080, so 4K horizontal resolution, but only 1080p on the vertical. If you put your eyes too close to this screen, you can very easily make out the pixels. It also claims to have full HDR support, but when you start watching HDR content, the colors look completely washed out and it's just not a good experience at all. It's a few years old now too, so if you're sold on a 49 inch ultra wide, I'd probably recommend looking at Samsung G9 lineup, which are 1440p and obviously much sharper. Before you do though, you should know some of the annoying things that you're probably going to run into with any of these super ultra wide monitors. Number one, if you're buying this with gaming in mind, they will tax your GPU a lot more than a standard 1080p display, especially if you go for a 1440p version, which has a horizontal resolution of 5K. Make sure you've got a solid beefy graphics card before you buy one of these. Number two, they take up a lot of space, especially if you don't have a monitor arm for them. The stand of my monitor is almost as wide as the screen itself, and it's a a whopping 15 inches deep, so it'll basically eat up all of your desk space if you don't have a big one. Number three, these things are expensive, like really expensive. The one I bought was well over a thousand US dollars when I bought it, and it was like three and a half years old. You could buy a triple monitor setup and an arm for less than that, so you have to really want that immersive, bezel-less experience if you go this route. But regardless of those facts, I still think these super ultra-wide monitors are awesome, and I honestly cannot see myself ever switching from this kind of setup. I'll probably upgrade from this particular monitor soonish, but if I do, I'll definitely be upgrading to a better 32 by 9 ultra-wide. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.